on this day, the 15th of January, 1919, Rosa Luxemburg and Karl Liebknecht were killed after the Spartacist uprising had been crushed. The Spartacist Uprising, a very romantic sort of name, was in fact more of a general strike, a protest, in Berlin between the 5th and the 12th of January. It was seen as a power struggle between the moderate social democrats and the more radical communists. Many of the communists wanted to seize power in the way the Bolsheviks had in Russia in 1917 and were scornful of the Social Democrats and their approach to reform, which was one of incremental reform. The Social Democrats were already in government and they would go on to win the next election. So for most of the 1920s, the Social Democrats would dominate German politics. The Communists didn't want to have any sort of negotiated peace with quote-unquote capitalism. They wanted it all or nothing. In 1918, the Communists, or the more radicals, in the Social Democratic Party had left to form the Communist Party. They believed that on their own, they could overthrow capitalism and introduce a Soviet-style communist state in Germany. Rosa Luxemburg was a part of this party. She was a quite a radical left-wing communist. However, she didn't want to go the Soviet route. She believed they needed the support of the vast majority of the people before they could introduce a Soviet-style system or a communist government into Germany. She was arguing for standing in and winning elections. But they ignored her and she was overruled. At the end of 1918, the chief of police in Berlin was replaced as he had refused to act against demonstrating workers during the Christmas crisis at the end of 1918. This would lead to massive protests because they were in favor of someone who wasn't going to come out and shoot them. And many hundreds of thousands of people came out to demonstrate against the sacking of this ch police chief. Liebnicht called for the overthrow of the government. Rosa Luxemburg spoke out against this and she believed that an uprising right now would be, cat would be catastrophic and it would prove to be catastrophic for her. On the 7th of January about half a million people were demonstrating in the streets of Berlin. Many of them were armed. Back in the days when pretty much everyone in Europe could be armed. Many key buildings, government ministries, uh, newspaper buildings were seized by some of these people, the more radicals, and they started demanding uh, a revolution. Ebert, who was the chancellor at the time, a social democrat, didn't want this to be violent, but he knew he couldn't allow these people to continue. And although they did seize the buildings, and although there were half a million people protesting, trains continued to run, papers continued to be printed, people still went to work and shops were still open, so it was... it wasn't St. Petersburg 1917. It wasn't complete chaos. There was activity and there was some violence but life went on it wasn't as dramatic as some people 
would like you to believe. So, the Free Corps, they were demobilized German soldiers from the First World War. About 3,000 of them were called in to put down these protests and to seize back the building, which they, they did quite easily. There wasn't that many of them that had seized the buildings. They were just the radical types. And it was quickly put down. Now, on the 15th, so we're talking about, about a week later, the Free Corps, uh, about 9 o'clock at night, they get Rosa Luxemburg and Karl Liebknecht. And they were arrested and brought over to the largest Free Corps unit in a hotel. So they were questioned. And then he ordered, then they were, that Liebknecht was brought to another hotel, which had been made into a prison. And there he was beaten and driven to the Tiergarten Park and shot three times. About half an hour later, Luxembourg was brought to the hotel where they started beating her around the head with their rifle butts. And she may have been dead at that point, but then they shot her for just to make sure. And they threw her body into a canal where it wasn't found until the summer. So, Rosa Luxemburg was right. Any sort of rebellion was going to end in catastrophe, and it did end in catastrophe for her. And not even for a real rebellion, just a bit of a protest. Seen worse things last year. The results of the Spartacist uprising were quite simple. That was the closest that Germany was going to come to becoming a Soviet state. It wasn't going to happen now. Uh, Rosa Luxemburg had lost her life even though she had been against a, an armed violent uprising. She was actually in favor of standing in and winning elections. But she became much more in the years that followed. She became an icon of the left, and especially post-World War II in East Germany. They named streets and towns and squares after her. They put statues up to her. And she became a martyr of the left, of the communist left. Even though, probably, she wouldn't have been their cup of tea if she had actually been around. They left, they conveniently left out the parts where she criticized Lenin and Leninism and the Soviet uh, system. They conveniently left out that she didn't want a violent overthrow of the government, that she wanted to stand in elections. But on this day, 15th of January, 1919, Rosa Luxemburg and Karl Lignicht were arrested, beaten, and killed. If you like these videos, come back for more tomorrow. Subscribe, like, and leave a comment.